up you guys welcome back to my channel my name is Des I go by Des B if you're new here hello and if you're not new here welcome back if you guys are new to my channel this is my daughter I've never told you guys just kidding this is my niece I'm so excited though to be bringing you something to support her and my sister and this is a Dottie Couture boutique try on haul daddy couture is a very small business and it is located in fishers indiana my sister is a really cute ambassador for them so she makes a small commission off of people using her code k20 and you know what i wanted to bring light to her so that she can support her family, my niece, with just a few extra supporters a month of Dottie Couture, as well as supporting a small business. So if you guys are interested in it, please keep watching. If you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and click the little bell so you never miss a video from me. La. See what I did there? Seriously guys, we are gonna hop into today's video. I hope you liked my little intro with literally the cutest baby in the world. As you guys can see, a girl popped off today. I felt like, you know, bringing you guys some heat with this makeup. So without further ado, welcome to this really fun little lookbook. I know I'm not the best try on channel, but I wanted to bring light to this small business as well as an opportunity to support my sister and give you guys a really cute fashion haul, not just athletic wear for the holidays as well as the end of fall season. So make sure you stick around and let's get into the video. The first two things that I'm going to talk about are first this beige distressed hem star sweater which is super cute i got this in a size medium i definitely could have done a small but i was worried it would be tight so i got a medium but as you see it has this really cute star design on it which is perfect for like a thanksgiving fall winter look and what's really cute is that it has this fringe and distressed look to it so it has it on the bottom here as well as on the sleeves and then it has a cute little v-neck at the top. What I thought this was gonna be was really scratchy, but actually it's not at all. It is just super duper soft, it very stretchy, and it literally feels like you're wearing a blanket. So I have worn this already in like a few selfies on my Instagram, so you know what's good when I'm already rocking it. The next one is a beige soft fringe scarf. You guys will see this on me in upcoming videos. Really just a fun accessory. You guys know, girls, we can never have enough scarves. So here we are. Obviously, you guys know how to wear scarves. I don't have to spend a lot of time on this, but a really cute pickup. It's, again, super soft. Thought it was gonna be scratchy. Very warm and definitely not something I can wear in Florida for now. The total of these are $22 for the scarf and $46 for the sweater. Again, this is stuff that you can get for 20% off. So when you're thinking of the price, think of it with a discount in mind. So you guys watched my video last week and you saw me already with this top on. I'm so excited about this. This is a black flower print wrap top. This is in a size small, really cute. You can wear it super conservative or you can kind of let the girls you know have a little play date come out a little bit and have some fun so i like wearing a small in this it does come up about three quarter length on the sleeve if you want or you can just wear it full but i preferably like it rolled up because it kind of rolls up a little bit very thin so don't expect this to last you out in a winter storm so this next product i'm really excited about i mean you guys don't know this really about me but i don't spend a lot of money on shoes i'll, I'll get nice gym shoes i'll get nice you know hit me up with the adidas hit me up with some Yeezys, whatever, but when it comes to outerwear shoes, I don't really invest in those because I don't have time to like dress up and look cute, but it is my goal for the year of 2020 to really venture out, take some time for self-love, self-care each day, get myself presentable, you know, a few more days out of the week than I do now and have a really cute outfit. So I bought these. These are black suede knee-high boots. Super duper cute. They're actually zip up. So this fun little detail here of actually tying them off depending on how tight you want is exactly that it's just a really fun detail you don't have to worry about squeezing your whole leg into this and not having any room that's why you have this nice zip up here and they're actually very great quality which i was kind of you know shook about so i went true to size in these guys I, I wear eight and a half and i bought an eight and a half they have a slight little heel on them very cute very fun something i would have never bought before but i'm really enjoying wearing the price of the past two things that i had the flower top is 32 dollars so kind of like your average maybe american eagle express 
maybe a little bit cheaper than Express, and then your boots are gonna be $56. Now, that is kind of like a decently expensive boot, right, if we're thinking about in terms of like what you would average spend on a boot, say at Target, but this is definitely a quality boot. The brand is actually Soda Shoes, so if you guys want to Google this, like feel free, you can see the quality, but I really love them, totally worth it, and I've already worn them with like three different outfits. So these next two items are really cute as an outfit, but I will tell you that they were final sale, so I don't think they're necessarily available anymore. They were kind of like in a clearance aspect, but I really wanted them. So first is another pair of the soda boots. They're called Mocha Stitch Detail Boots. Again, got them in an eight and a half and I wear an eight and a half. Guys, these are so cute. I'm not, again, I'm not a boot person, but I'm really into this and I feel like I could wear them a lot when I travel, when I'm able to be in different climates, all of that. Um, even now I could wear them really. Again, they have that really nice zip up here so you don't have to worry about jamming your whole leg in here with no room and they're actually kind of oversized on the calf so first off they look kind of rustic and literally the word oversized but also if you're someone that has like big calves because i know some people have that problem not me this is a really great opportunity to have a boot that fits really comfortably these boots were final sale for 32 dollars. again i got a really good bargain so before you guys go anywhere make sure that you're checking the clearance because you know how that is the next item i'm really excited about and i've been pairing with the boots you just saw this is technically called cream textured tie waist dress final sale i got a small in this and the total on this one was 36 dollars. but as you guys will see in the video of me wearing it super cute I feel like I literally just went down to Old Town Road myself and picked up this dress on sale very fun not necessarily too like country not too like hickey looking no offense but it's still a really great dress you can wear it in the fall maybe throw a cute boot and sweater over it even in the winter or you know wait until spring and utilize this look honestly very conservative in terms of the neck aspect someone that's going to meet maybe your boyfriend's family for the first time and you got big girls and you don't want them to be flopping everywhere this could be a really great option for you you laugh at me <laughs> So this one is actually probably my favorite ever. This is my long cheetah cardigan. So cute. I got this in a medium. Could have got a small for sure. Not that it fits bad, but I could have had it a little bit tighter, but I always get nervous not knowing how tight is tight and I'd rather be able to move in it. This was $42. That super long, so you could definitely get away with wearing this shirt with jeans and maybe a cute black top underneath, or truly by itself, button this hoe up, put some leggings on, throw those cute knee-high black boots on, and boom, there's a whole nother look for you. It is really cute too, where it has the option, I can definitely tell where if you wanna wear a belt, you can definitely make that look cute. Honestly, I'd probably just look more like a square than I already am, so I'm not gonna go there. But if you have curves and you have a waist and your body is kicking, that would be a really great option for you. Pair this with the black knee-high boots. Very cute. And then I also got this black textured legging. These were just $22, size small. As you can see in the light, it almost looks like maybe a snake skin. I can't really tell what this design is. I'm not that good at that. The one thing I hate about these is the waist on them. So this comes right at like your bikini line. I'm talking like a low rider, like cesarean section line. And then this comes up to your belly button. So it's like a really awkward cut your butt off. Even here in the back, this comes like to your butt crack. And then it comes all the way up to your low back. You kind of want to pull them up, but then you kind of get camel toe and it goes and gives you a front and a back wedgie. Did get them because I knew I wanted to wear them under the cheetah cardigan. But if you guys have a black pair of leggings already, don't worry about it. They did look exactly like this in the description itself, but I kind of was like, oh, like, I can't really tell. Maybe it'll be okay on my body. And it wasn't. So not a flop, but like not, not something that I would spend again is actually what I have on. This is a ribbed oversized V tunic. I got this in a small. It's really cool because it has this design here. There's my bra, hi. You can kind of see that it's slit, but it's not enough where like if you're walking around, people will see your girls. Mila. Sorry, my niece is here and she's just smiling at me. She's encouraging me to film. I definitely love this tunic. It's very soft. This material is, it feels like a blanket. So I'm definitely happy with this purchase. And this was $39. Again, this is 
not your typical forever 21 this is a boutique and they do get really high-end things so i love this tunic and i would probably wear this with one of my scarves i got this it's called medium wash knee slit denim these were 42 dollars, so just like your average jean and i did get a size three i am typically a size four in jeans I didn't see them have a four, so I just bought the three. These are the jeans, so you can definitely tell they have this really cute kind of distressed bottom here at the ankle, a little bit of distress here, and then they do have some slits at the knee, kind of just, you know, that cute look, whatever. These are classified as a high-rise jean, but they definitely don't come up to your boobs. If you're going for that look, these aren't it. These are definitely gonna be over the belly button, but nothing like extremely, extremely high-waisted, so just keep that in mind. They have a really stretchy fabric to them. They're definitely still a jean, they're not a J. They're not a jegging, but they are very comfortable versus like your strict wash Levi jeans. So I really like them. And with that, I also got just this really cute gold circle embellishment belt. Nothing, again, super crazy, super ritzy, but I wanted the opportunity to have a belt that would just look cute and match a lot of outfits and not just be huge and obnoxious. The jeans, again, were $42 and the belt was just $14. Please think, you're factoring in 20% off off each of these items which is a couple bucks and you get free shipping over $50 so really if you're thinking wisely and you order over $50 you're legit getting not only free shipping but 20% off overall oh god I look ugly <sighs> okay is this funny to you is that funny to you Mila stop laughing at me so overall, as you guys see, this is not by any means like your Forever 21 style clothing. This isn't your Fashion Nova. This isn't your Misguided. This isn't Pretty Little Thing. But this also isn't necessarily like Express, the limited Banana Republic. This is definitely in between. Oh my God, this is like Francesca's. Yeah, that's good. This is just like a Francesca's or maybe a step down from like an altered state, I would even say. Really cute boutique clothing. This isn't what you're gonna find in places that are mass franchises. So again, this very small little boutique out of Fishers, Indiana, beautiful. I love supporting small businesses, as you guys know. And I also love supporting my sister. Obviously with her code, again, 20% off, $50 or more, you get free shipping. That's why I was like, you know what, screw it. I not only wanna pop off and support McKay, but I also want to get that free shipping and so I just went really hard. I hope that you guys like this video and have been liking my videos. I'm not like a huge try on channel so I understand if you guys are like yawn I'm over it I get it but I really wanted to take this video not only prepare you guys for holiday season holiday shopping getting some cute outfits for winter and colder months but also shed light to a very small business and support my sisters you know I don't really know, but I just really wanted to support her, okay? If you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and click the little bell so you never miss a video from me. Big video coming next week. Big ass video coming next week. Bring me Mila, maybe I'll get more views. Mila, you wanna be on my thumbnail? Oh my god, your little strawberry butt. Look at her little booty. Booty. Michaela, you look ridiculous behind the camera right now. <laughs> You're so ugly for that. Good morning everyone, it's 9.41 and I've been editing this video for two hours and I realized I never said goodbye. So, <laughs> new video coming next week. You don't wanna miss this. You don't wanna miss this. Okay, I'm signing off.